Second one, of course, was the uh, uh, September 11 uh, events uh, that were exploited uh, to this day by a number of parties uh, for their own uh, uh, petty uh, agenda. Uh, and uh, still this created uh, a, 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 a sort of the, the, uh, discomfort uh, in, in some sector of the, uh, of the, of the public uh, opinion. Uh, um, uh, in terms of opportunities, well, uh, the biggest opportunities was the, uh, we, we saw it very clearly, was the it Italian trading balance. Uh, Italy uh, uh, has the, uh, is the uh, first trading partner in, uh, in seven sectors with all MENA and GCC countries, and the second in the four or five other sectors, which means, which means what? Which means that we, Italy has a, about, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe 45, 50 billion US trade every year with all those countries. All this is conventionally, all, almost all of, all, the, all of this trade is uh, uh, conventionally financed. Still, uh, it, it tells you the enormous uh, possibilities. The other two opportunities uh, uh, we, we, we found uh, 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 was the strategic location of Italy just sitting uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the middle of the Mediterranean countries, having historical uh, ties with all uh, our, our countries. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and of course, the, um, the, the, the Italian foreign policy that has always been uh, with, uh, to a certain uh, extent, uh, the exception of the present government, has always been supportive of the Arab world uh, and the uh, Palestinian uh, cause. Uh, threat, we didn't find any threat actually. Uh, there was a, you know, a market that was just uh, beginning, uh, uh, evolving. Uh, there is no such a thing as competition. Actually, in Islamic finance, it should be not be a competition. Nowadays, we do have uh, uh, the island of Malta, uh, south of uh, Italy, that is uh, of Sicily, that is uh, uh, launching, uh, uh, is embarking in Islamic finance quite seriously, uh, changing a lot of their. Uh, um, uh, legal infrastructure and uh, regulatory infrastructures, but we we we, uh, we, we saw this as a uh, as an opportunity, not really as a, as, a, as a threat. So I mean, what, when we uh, we made uh, our uh, SWOT analysis, we were very happy and dancing, and uh, and uh, and uh, we embarked with a great deal of uh, of confidence. So we've seen the uh, the general framework, we've seen the, our SWOT analysis, and uh, uh, how did we uh, uh, proceed? Uh, if I may, Mr. Chairman, just a few minutes, so we'll go very quickly through the, uh, uh, the bullet points. Uh, okay, the first thing is we, we, we knew that uh, uh, all Western societies, and Italy is not an exception, so all, all the members of our societies are uh, very disillusioned and disententioned. They, 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 they think they know everything. So the last, the last uh, thing we wanted to do is uh, to teach them a lesson and to tell them what uh, uh, the, the advantage of Islamic finance vis-a-vis -vis, uh, um, the conventional finance. In the case of Italy, what we did uh, was to put uh, Islamic finance in the context of uh, 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 Italian history. And uh, we, uh, well, it was an yeah, yeah, easy seller, I must say. We, go, uh, we, uh, we went back to, uh, to the uh, founding fathers of, uh, of, uh, of Christianity. Uh, people like uh, St. Thomas of Aquin, some uh, giants uh, like uh, St. Augustine, and these sort of people. And uh, in all our uh, uh, debates and events and papers, we, also, we always mention the position on riba, which is uh, uh, very clear, uh, written in, in uh, very clear Latin, so there is no discussion on interpretation. And we compare their position to the Islamic position. You know? And when people, the audience was um, um, confronted with the argument, uh, it was it was clear. Uh, 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 what what, what uh, was was clear was that uh, the world we're living into now, the so-called uh, conventional finance, is the exceptions, and the riba-free uh, 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 world is the actually has been until uh, you know 300 years ago, uh, has been the rule uh, everywhere in the world, and actually this thing has been changing has been changed by, uh, by, uh, by the Florentine and Lombard bankers that start moving to North Europe and using the, uh, the interest rates. Uh, as you know, perhaps uh, even uh, today, half an hour, thank you, sir. Uh, ju just two minutes. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, even today, uh, the, the, the oldest street in London is the Lombard Street, uh, referring to, uh, to the Lombard rate uh, that was uh, brought there by, by, by those people. So this is one of the things that we, we start, uh, you know, uh, Using the other one, the other thing is that uh, uh, we know that people nowadays, uh, public opinion is formed uh, usually by people reading a newspaper in the underground, going to work. They read the title and the, 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 the first, you know, 
uh, two paragraphs uh, uh, before dozing off. Uh, so we start uh, writing an endless number of articles, very short, very concise, uh, that could be read in about uh, two and uh, three minutes, uh, anywhere in all sorts of magazines, all sorts of press, just to uh, uh, you know, uh, have everybody, uh, all people from all uh, walk of life, uh, being acquainted with this uh, idea of, of uh, Islamic finance. The other things, of course, we uh, uh, um, establish a, no, a number of links with the, the fair trade consumers, with the ethical and cooperative banks, with the Vatican. We're sitting in, we're sitting in a number of, of uh, committees on interface dialogue, and of course, every time we, 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 we speak about interface dialogue, we speak about Islamic finance. And uh, we took advantage of a, uh, in Italy, uh, uh, we, we have a very strong uh, uh, law uh, uh, against uh, usury. Uh, usury. And, uh, and a number of uh, uh, anti-usury associations, and we, so we established uh, linked we, uh, uh, with them. Uh, three other things we did, you know, uh, just to widen up the scope of, of Islamic finance. Uh, academicians, we start uh, promoting and sponsoring, uh, uh, proofreading, uh, reviewing a number of, uh, of dissertation, of PhD thesis uh, in uh, Italian universities. Nowadays, we've got about uh, 40, 50 uh, uh, um, dissertations that have been uh, uh, written on this topic. We wrote in 1997 a pilot, uh, pilot project, Genoardo, uh, that is a Latin word that comes from genital ard in Arabic and the proposing the establishment of a Mediterranean Islamic, uh, uh, of a uh, Mediterranean development bank <coughs> uh, based on Islamic principles. And uh, last but, on, but not least, it was very successful. Uh, uh, we uh, position Islamic finance as sharing almost by default one of the hottest issue of our times, which is uh, uh, climate change. Uh, um, uh, we had a, a lot of we did a lot of work on on Kyoto on the uh, Kyoto Protocol uh, mechanism and financial mechanism, and every time we just put Islamic finance into this context, which is actually not stretching the boundaries uh, at all because uh, all the uh, the Quran and uh, and the Hadith uh, are a very uh, a stance uh, pro uh, very very uh, very I would say in today's uh, parlance a very um, green uh, stance. Uh, Okay, uh, what happened? Uh, we uh, did a, a number of transactions uh, in, uh, in uh, real estate. Uh, uh, the major uh, investment, privately, privately owned investment bank uh, in, in Italy, Mediobanca, is now working on a Sharia compliant finance in, in, in a Sharia compliant structure uh, project finance in, uh, in the Gulf. Uh, Generali, which is the second largest life, uh, um, life insurance in the world, has just teamed up with Qatar Islamic Bank for launching uh, a Takaful uh, product worldwide, and, uh, and on financing, we've been very, uh, very active. Uh, it took a lot of time, uh, a lot of effort, uh, not really uh, money rewarding, but uh, I'm happy to say that last November, uh, the Bank of Italy and the governor uh, hosted a whole day uh, in the main building in Rome, uh, inviting uh, Dr. Zaiti, uh, governor of, of Bank Negara, and uh, um, prominent Sharia scholars, and, uh, and uh, the, the governor is also uh, the uh, responsible of the uh, Financial Stability Forum, and uh, he spoke very, very uh, um, you know, happily in favor of Islamic finance. Uh, the foreign ministry, uh, three days ago, uh, three days before that, uh, hosted uh, in Palazzo Madama a major conference on Islamic finance, and uh, the Italian oil company hosted uh, three-day seminars, and uh, uh, to cut a long story short, uh, uh, nowadays, uh, after all this work, uh, uh, all these efforts and conferences and uh, hundreds of articles, uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, he uh, has been accepted uh, in spite of the uh, political up and downs that we, uh, that we uh, witnessed, uh, has been accepted as a subset of uh, uh, of finance uh, as, uh, as such. Many thanks. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure we could listen uh, all day, in fact, on the developments of Islamic finance in the home of the Vatican. Um, unfortunately, uh, we don't have uh, time for questions, uh, but uh, do feel free to.